Hello, pretty people. Welcome to Simply Delish Duo. We are in the holiday season, so we're focusing on our holiday baking and treats. Once the holidays are over, we will be focusing on our everyday meals. But are you all in for a treat today? I am making my favorite holiday snack, nuts, nuts and bowls or your Chex Mix. Not only do I love to eat these, I love to gift them. So if you like this recipe and would like to see more, please subscribe to our channel by hitting that red subscribe button below. For my nuts and bolts, I am using two cups of everything, two cups of all of uh, my dry ingredients. I have here stick pretzels. You could use a pretzel shape. I'm using the stick pretzels today. White cheddar mini crackers. I love my Cheetos. Plus it adds a beautiful color and I'm using Cheetos. Unsalted peanuts, regular Cheerios, goldfish crackers, and regular shreddies. Now, of course, your, your nuts and bolts is gonna require a sauce. So for the sauce, you can use butter, melt your butter, but I love to use vegetable oil. I like the taste, I've been doing it this way for years. So I have a cup of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of dry dill, three tablespoons of garlic powder, not garlic salt, and a teaspoon of regular table salt. I also have three tablespoons, you guys, this word is so hard for me to pronounce, Worcestershire sauce, I think it is. Everybody pronounces it a little bit different. So I have three tablespoons of the Worcestershire sauce. So I'm gonna move everything over. We are going to mix our sauce. So we're gonna do our sauce first. I am going to do the Worcestershire sauce, pour it in there. Your table salt, your garlic powder, and your dry dill. So give this a good, good stir, about a minute or so. We'll set it aside once this is all stirred. Make sure it's dissolved nicely because you want to evenly coat your dry ingredients. So, okay, that looks about right. Now I am going to move everything over and I like to use I like to use a, a wide flat pan because once I put all my dry ingredients in here, they'll spread out nicely. I don't want anything overflowing. Plus, with the stirring process, it makes it so much easier. So, I put our dry ingredients. And it doesn't matter which way because you're gonna be stirring them anyways. This here, you guys, is my favorite holiday salty snack. I have lots of favorites, but this one here is my most favorite. So you can use a spatula. I am using, I like to use this wide spoon. You take your oil, your sauce. Now I have the oven preheated at 200 degrees, 220, pardon me, because what you're gonna do is we're gonna bake these in the oven for about two hours, stirring every 20 minutes at 220 degrees. Okay. There. And drizzle, drizzle your sauce all over. You don't wanna drizzle it all in one place, just spread it out. And now we're gonna give this we're going to give your nuts and bolts a good stir to make sure that everything is evenly coated with that sauce. So my oven's good and ready to go. You guys, I gave these a very, very good mix so everything's completely evenly coated. And I forgot to mention earlier about the peanuts. Peanuts are completely optional for those of you that do have peanut allergies. Or for those of you that do love peanuts, you can use walnuts, almonds, cashews, any kind of nut of your preference. So I'll pop them in the oven and I'll be back. So I pulled them out of the oven, let them cool off for a bit. You guys, this I actually make this throughout the year. This is a great games night snack or even watching a movie with your family. Um, I was actually in the Philippines at the beginning of uh, the beginning of the year, February, with my husband. He's from the Philippines. 
I made them and they were a huge hit. Everybody loved them. So I am flying solo today because of COVID, but um, I did manage to put one together here. I want to show you. You guys, these make really, really, really great gifts. I um, put, put them in a little baggie with a little bit of uh, decoration. I'll put ribbon around here, but I found these little cute things, little baubles or little cranberries. I use these for the ties. So they make great gifts for teachers, friends, family, but best of all, I put them in people's stockings. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Happy holidays. Thank you for watching. Simply Delish Duo.